Hello and welcome to the studio of the WSIS Plus 20 Forum High Level Event here in Geneva. I'm delighted to say our next guest is Vladimir Stankovic. And you've been helping to coordinate the WSIS Plus 20 event. Yes, this year's WSIS Plus 20 Forum High Level Event 2024 has been a remarkable one. As the title it says, we have been 20 years since uh, the Geneva Plan of Action in 2003 and of course the Tunis Agenda 2005. This year has uh, attracted thousands of stakeholders on site here in Geneva and online. As Business Forum 2009 started with the full remote participation, we are still in a hybrid mode today as well. And uh, I have to say that uh, more than ever, we have been witnessing the uh, participation from the high level participants that are also benefiting from the AI Governance Day taking place and the AI for Good Summit. And we're looking forward to uh, working together with these two communities and bring back to all of them what the ICTs can uh, make to advance SDGs and overall impact in society. Now, the prize winners were announced yesterday. Um, I met them all as they came off the stage. Some fascinating projects. Can you um, give us some insight into the prizes and the innovation behind them? Yes, of course. This is prizes started in 2012. And since then, we really have been very successful, attracting more than 5,000 submissions. Millions have been reached out to through online voting, through promotion. This is something that uh, is one of the most magnificent uh, contests globally that is recognizing how digital projects are advancing SDGs. More than that, making impact social, economic, environmental, cultural around the world. And the winners that we have announced yesterday, they're already promoting their successes back home. I'm very, very proud that uh, we can also celebrate them on the international level. And you've been looking after that for the last, well, the prizes have been, been given out for the last 20 years. Um, tell me about that and the whole process that goes into generating them. Of course. In 2004, the United Nations General Assembly, as a part of the VISIS process, mandated the International Telecommunication Union to maintain a VESIS stock-taking database. Out of this database, VESIS prizes were born. But not only VESIS prizes, other contests and databases, including the Foro Contest, the VESIS Healthy Aging Innovation Prize, the VESIS Digital Service Design Prize, and all of these have been awarded this year as well. Hundreds of projects we have been uh, awarded and received. And this is something that uh, we look into future, how we can really uh, develop further in growing our databases and trying to reach out to those that are still maybe under the radar and deserve to be promoted globally. Vladimir Stankovic from the ITU, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to talk to us. Thank you. More to come from the studio of the WSIS Plus 20 Forum High Level Event.